Okay, so now we're gonna start the second sew along for my Nomi pattern, ME2080. And we're gonna be making the zip up hoodie. And it has a drawstring and it also has pockets. Um, it's cropped, it hits slightly uh, below the waist. And I think it's perfectly oversized and I'm excited to see all your versions. Okay, let's go over the pattern pieces that you're gonna need. You will need, let's see. Okay, so starting at piece 13, we're gonna need the front, the back, the pocket that goes on the front of the jacket, um, that's the sleeve band, and then the hood, the sleeve, and then the um, front and back band that goes on the bottom of the jacket. And let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start on the hoodie and we'll start with step one and we're going to start with the pockets. We're going to press under the facing along fold line on pocket, stitch close to pressed edge and one inch away. So let me show you that closer. So you're gonna fold over, let me grab the piece. Okay, so here's the pocket. And what we're gonna do is fold over the facing. So this part is the facing. And I will go press it and I'll do that on both pocket pieces. And then we're gonna stitch close to the pressed edge and one inch away. So we'll do a line of stitching close to this edge and then also one inch away from that line. So it should be right along this edge. So I'll go press this and then I will stitch them and be right back. Okay, so now that we've sewn the pockets, I've sewn um, right along the folded edge and then right along the raw edge. And I did that for both pieces. Now we're going to take the pocket and fold under to the wrong side, the top of the pocket and we'll press it. And then also this um, edge that's on an angle. So you'll fold it over five eighths inch and press it. And then I'll go press it and show you how we're going to attach it to the front. Okay, so now we're going, now that I've pressed under the top and the side, um, we're gonna place it on the front of the bodice and it'll align with the bottom edge and the center front edge. That's where the zipper will go. So now we're just gonna go stitch it in place along this angled edge and then the top and then you can baste the, the center front and bottom edge. So I'll do that with both pieces and be right back. Okay, I've sewn the pockets on. And on these corners where it opens, so right here and here, I backstitched um, multiple times so that it's just a little bit stronger. You can also do a bar tack if you want, but I've got both pockets sewn on, and now we're gonna sew the front pieces to the back piece. I'm gonna lay my back piece right side up, and then I will attach the front. And we're gonna attach it at the side and the top where the shoulder is. Okay, so we will sew along the sides on both edges and then both shoulders, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've sewn the shoulders and the side seams, and now we're going to get the bottom band, so the band that's going to go on the bottom. Um, it calls for rib knit, and um, this one I'm just going to use the same fabric but it calls for rib knit. And on the, the one on the cover, I did use rib knit like this. Um, okay, but this, I didn't have a matching rib knit, so I'm just gonna use the same fabric. So. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the back band and then the front bands. I'm gonna sew to the back band on each side and I'll sew it at 5 8 inch and I'll just sew them right sides together. So like that and then like that. And we'll sew 5 8 inch and then we'll attach it to the bottom. And I'll be right, I'll go sew this and be right back. Okay, I've sewn the back band to the front band and then I also tr um, pressed these open and I trimmed them down. And now we're going to fold it in half this way and I'll go press it and then we're gonna attach it to the bottom of this, um, to the jacket. Okay, so I've folded the band in half and now we're going to attach it to the bottom of the jacket. So you'll, you're just gonna take it and put it right sides together like this at, all along the bottom. And we'll pin it. Make sure your seams match up so you might have to stretch the band slightly. And then, so I'll pin it and make sure all the seams align and then I'll sew this at 5 8 inch and then be right back. Okay, I've sewed the bottom band on. And then also I finished the seams. If you want to do this on your serger, you can. And um, the inside, I also trimmed the shoulder seam and finished it as well as the side seam. Okay, so you have the front and back constructed. And now we're gonna move on to the zipper. Okay, so you're gonna want an 18 inch zipper and I'm gonna shorten mine by two inches. Okay, so now that I've shortened my zipper, we're going to we're going to attach the zipper. Um, first, we're going to fold under and press the center front by five eighths inch. So we'll do that on both sides, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've pressed the center front under, we're going to pin it to the zipper. We're going to pin it on both sides, and then we'll so just make sure the bottom is matched up, and then. We're going to um, sew it using a zipper foot and you'll do that for both sides. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so now that you have done the zipper, we're gonna put some bias tape along the unfinished edge of the zipper. Um, and I don't have any gray, so I'm gonna do pink. I thought that might be kind of cute to match my dress. So we're just gonna sew the bias tape all along the edge and we'll also do this edge and to sew bias tape so you're gonna open the bias tape up like this and we're gonna pin it like this and then we'll sew along the um, creased edge and then once that is sewn on we can fold it over like that and then you'll stitch along the folded edge again. So I will go sew the bias tape on and then be right back. Okay, I've got the bias tape sewn on the inside. I decided to go with blue. Um, and now we're gonna start with the hood. So I'll just set this aside. On the inside, apply a one inch square remnant of inner facing to the hood at the buttonhole marking. Okay, so I didn't mark the buttonhole, so I'm gonna mark that really quick. Okay, so I put some inner facing where the buttonhole is gonna go. And now I'm gonna go um, stitch the buttonhole. And I'll do that on both pieces and then we will stitch the hood together along the curve. And I will go do that and be right back. Okay, I did the buttonholes. Um, and now I'm just gonna cut it open. Okay, so I'm gonna use my seam ripper and just be very careful to not rip past the buttonhole. Okay. 
So I just stick it in and then I just slide it slowly. And I'll trim the threads. Okay, so I have both buttonholes. And now we're going to sew the hoodie or the hood. And we're going to sew it along this curved edge. And we'll sew that at 5 8 inch. And then once you sew it, um, we're going to press the seam towards the left side. So I'll sew that and be right back. Okay, so now that I've sewed that, we're going to press the um, seam allowance towards the left side. So we'll press it that way and um, I'll press that and be right back. Okay, now that I pressed the um, seam on the hood to the left side, we're going to top stitch um, the left side at 1 4th inch. So one fourth inch away from this seam and it'll um, hold the seam allowance down. So I'll sew that and be right back. Okay, so I top stitched it down. That's what it looks like. And then on the inside. And now we're gonna press under the front edge of the hood along the, um, along the fold line. And you're gonna turn under the raw edge one fourth inch. So you're gonna fold it in one and one fourth inch and then once you press that at one and one fourth inch we're gonna turn the raw edge in at one fourth inch and I'll press that and be right back okay so I pressed that under and then I top stitched it close to the edge and that'll be the casing for the drawstring. Okay, so we're going to pin the hood to the bodice. And we're going to match the notches. Okay, so I've clipped the hood onto the bodice. And the side of the hoodie is just matching up with the side of the bodice, the center front. So I'll go sew this at 5 eighths inch all along and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have sewn the hood on, I'm gonna just trim this um, seam down just a little bit, and then we're gonna put bias tape on um, this seam to make it look a little cleaner. So we'll do the bias tape the same way. You'll open it up. So you'll open up the bias tape and then you're going to sew along this fold line and then once that's sewn you'll bring it up and back around like that and then you'll stitch along the edge. So I will do that and be right back. Okay so now we're going to Put the bias tape towards the bodice and then we're going to top stitch along this neckline at one fourth inch. So we'll top stitch one fourth inch all the way across and push the bias tape down. Okay so I top stitched that down at about one fourth inch. And now we're gonna do the sleeves. So we're gonna sew the sleeve together. We'll sew both sleeves, put them together and sew at five eighths inch.
Okay, so I've sewn both sleeves and I'm gonna go press both of these open and then we'll sew the cuffs on. Okay, now we're gonna sew our cuffs and we're gonna sew it, we're gonna fold it in half like that and sew down this side and we'll do that for both pieces. And then once we sew it, we'll flip it out and it'll be the cuff. Um, so I'll go sew both these right sides together at 5 8 inch and be right back. Okay, now I'm going to trim down this seam allowance. And then if you fold it in half and then you can press it. So if you fold it in half, it'll be the cuff and I'll go press both of these and then we'll attach it to the sleeve. Okay, so now we're gonna turn our sleeve right side out. And we're going to attach the cuff. So we're going to match up the seam on the cuff with the seam on the sleeve. And we're going to put it over it. And you'll probably have to stretch it out a little bit to fit. So you'll have to stretch it as you sew like that. And I will pin these and then sew both of them and be right back. Okay, I sewed the cuff on both sleeves and now we're gonna attach the sleeve to the bodice. And that is the last step. So you'll match the notches, make sure you have the right sleeve on the right side and then so turn your jacket inside out and then put your sleeve right side out in the hole. So like that. And then make sure you have the right side on with the notches. And then once you pin both sleeves on, we'll sew it on. Okay, and I have both sleeves sewn on, and now it's finished. The only thing left is you need to put the drawstring in this channel. I don't have one that matches, so I'm going to do that later, but I will show you how it looks with the dress.